Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Google released a brand new version of Android. It's Android N, it's available to developers, and you can actually install it over the air. So you can see here's the N here, if I go home, the desktop wallpaper is just a little bit different, but otherwise it looks the same right here. The great thing though I said is you're able to download it over the air. So I was able to enroll the device right on the device by using Chrome. Once I went and enrolled the device, I got a notification for a download, downloaded it, installed it, and it left everything as is. Now Google recommends you don't use this on a production device, and I could say the same. It's, it's so far a little bit choppy and unstable, and I'm recording this in 1080p60, so maybe if you can see that, it'll be smooth or, or not, but hopefully you can see those changes. So let's go over what's new. So other than stuff underneath the surface, what we have is brand new notifications. So if you look at the notifications, I don't have any right now, but the notification bar is a little bit different. We've got pages here, and then if I hit edit, we can go into edit and we can drag and drop different things. So if I want to drag this into here, very similar to a one plus one in that fashion, we can move things around however we want, remove them, put them back, whatever we want, it's there. So we'll go back home. And that's pretty much the settings. Now, the other thing that's really neat though, is if we go into settings, they've changed everything here. So you'll see there's a suggestion here to change my wallpaper. Then we have Wi-Fi and everything. It shows me my data usage display, everything else. But then we also have another menu or quick menu we can pull in from the side. So this is really nice as well. This is all built into N and they haven't said whether or not everything's going to stick, but I would imagine these are the new features and it's pretty stable for a first beta so far, but I've only used it for about an hour or so. But as far as the way it feels, it's not really too clunky all the way around. So that's the actual actual settings let's go back home and one of the huge features that a lot of people have wanted especially on tablets is multi-window support so if I go ahead and open up Chrome here I'll go to my website we'll go home uh, maybe we'll open up a couple of these apps we'll open all of those maps and or apps rather and what we'll do is we'll go home and maybe we'll go back into Chrome. Now, if I double tap the app drawer button, it switches between apps. So I can just keep double tapping that and switch between apps. So that's really nice. One of the other things I can do is if I tap on it, you'll see it looks pretty much the same here. But if I go home and hold this button down, actually go into an app, hold this button down. There we go. You had to go into the app and you'll see it splits the window right here. So if I move this up and down, it's really nice. And then I can rotate it to the side also. And then within here, I've got the app switcher. So maybe I want to go to my website here. I can do that and then I can resize it. Well, a little bit. It doesn't let me resize it a whole lot. Or we can resize it all the way. Double tap, go to the next one. It's really nice that that's built in and that'll be great on tablets. That's one thing Android was missing compared to iOS where a lot of people complained about that. One thing they added for the video side and for the tablet side is picture in picture. I tried it on here. I couldn't get it to work. So I'm assuming it's just for the tablets, but if you're in videos or movies here, you'll see there's movies or whatever you have rotate that back. Uh, if we're, if we're in this, we're watching something and you're on a tablet, you can bring it down to picture in picture while you're doing something else. So you can have picture in picture, multi-window or however you'd like it. Now, let me see if I can get a notification to come up so we can take a look at that because that's a little bit different as well. I waited a little bit until I got some notifications so I could show you what that looks like. So if we pull down here, you'll see there's different notifications. I have ways running. Let me switch that off. And now we can reply to every notification right from the notifications. So that's a new feature as well, or we can just clear them all. But you can see we've got friends saying, so what's happening with N? Uh, we've got a test email from myself that I just sent so we could take a look at it, and that's pretty much it. Really nice, really cleaned up notifications as well. There is still an app drawer. Some people were saying that goes away. Maybe it does later on, but right now it's still there. And that's pretty much all I could find so far. I'm sure there's other little things here and there, but that's mostly what I've been able to find and what Google's actually said they've changed. Now, if you want to download it, again, make sure you have your own backup device and this isn't your primary device. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can enroll your device if you want. 
but I highly caution you on doing that with a beta, especially of this early build. The nice thing is they have, if you go to their developer site, they have a whole timeline of when they expect it to be out. So there's no more guessing. They've got it up front and hopefully they hit those deadlines and it will be out by then. But if you have Android N or you have try this out maybe on a tablet, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.